Hello Go Getters of Biotechnica, welcome back again. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So today I'm going to talk about a significant fellowship, Sir Power Fellowship 2022, exclusively for all the brainy women researchers in India. So let's talk in detail about it. Power Fellowship is a greater initiative by Scientific and Engineering Research Board. Under this fellowship, all the women researchers are definitely going to be benefited. So I can say it's a wonderful opportunity for women who has their proposal in hands and waiting for a fellowship. So then the opportunity is for you. And let's talk about what is the purpose and the objective of this SERP Power Fellowship. The main purpose of this fellowship is to embrace or to encourage the women researchers very specifically in the individual centric and competitive based research. Under this fellowship, all the women who apply for this and they are going to be selected are going to receive a fund and they can work under or undertake R&D activities in the frontier areas of science and engineering definitely. And we'll be talking about what's going to be the eligibility, how much is going to be the fellowship, how much is going to be the research grant and what are the other possibility and what are the documents that are actually required to apply for the SERP Power Fellowship, everything in detail. And the mode of application is definitely going to be online and the application portal to apply for the SERP Power Fellowship is open. So definitely you can go and start applying for the SERP Power Fellowship, which is really open for you. Now let's talk about what is the scope and eligibility. This fellowship will definitely identify and they're going to reward outstanding women researchers in R&D and all the innovators working in any of the Indian academic institution as well as in research and developmental laboratories definitely has to have a PhD degree in any of the branch of science and engineering. So PhD holders only can apply for this SERP Power Fellowship. The next, the nominee should be an active scientist with an excellent record of research performance as an independent investigator or an innovator. The next important thing is the age criteria. Suppose if we are talking about SERP Power Grant, even the retired persons can actually apply. But for the SERP Power Fellowship, so the age limit has to be 35 to 55 years working in a reputed or we can say in the research laboratories or academic institution in India. And they should definitely be an Indian citizen. And the nominee should not be receiving any other fellowship if they are applying for this fellowship. They should not receive any other fellowship from any sources of government during the tenor periods. It's the most important eligibility criteria. So what is going to be the support from this fellowship or how much is the fellowship going to be? How much is the research grant? So initially you'll be having your uh, fellowship of rupees 15,000 per month along with your regular income every month and then the research grant of rupees 10 lakh for one year and research grant can be used for minor equipments or for your research personals or buying some consumables and contingencies also for travel ex uh, expenses very specifically domestic travels and overheads for the host institute will also be given and the fellowship duration will always be fixed only for three years and there's a very important thing that has to be noted without the possibility of any extension there is no extension anymore after three years and successful power fellows cannot be re-nominated for the second time which means you can apply for sir power fellowship only once how about the nomination procedures so application for power fellowships are actually invited normally for nominations and the nomination should be sent only by the head of the institution where the person is actually working or the fellows of the national academies and the nominations has to be received throughout the year which means the portal for this application will be open throughout the year 
and you can just check in or go through this website and check serb online dot in or serb dot gov dot in only. And the selection of all the serb power fellows will be made twice a year, two times a year by a specially constituted search com selection committee. We're going to do this process. And the most important thing that we have to note is women scientists cannot hold a power fellowship or we can say serve power fellowship and serve power grant at the same time. Suppose if you're applying for serve power grant, you cannot apply for serve power fellowship. Suppose if you're applying for serve power fellowship, you cannot apply for serve power grant. And if you have any more queries, you can just email to serve power at serve.gov.in. And now let's understand uh, how we can go and apply and what are the documents that has to be submitted, how it can be done through the online process in detail. So after you have logged in, you'll be seeing a page like this. So you can directly go to the user profile and fill your profile details and other details. And you can uh, check for the funded projects that you have. And you can also view your full profile in this place. The next one is proposal submission. You can literally see the proposal submission here. Under that, you have to click on to form submissions and it will be redirecting you to this page. And here you're going to type the SERP Power Fellowship. So after typing your SERP Power Fellowship, you'll be seeing a page like this. So we have already talked about the eligibility. We have already talked about the nature and the duration of the support and the selection and the mode of application. And then they were talking about the plagiarism because you're gonna submit your proposal. So they were talking, it has to be original in the ideation as well as in the creations, content and everything. And then next is how to apply online. So we, you have to first go in for your registration, which is already done and you have to log in. And the first important thing is complete your user profile, under user profile, and just submit your name, your photograph, your institute address, everything. In detail the next thing is proposal how you can do in your proposal so the proposal title has to be a maximum of 500 characters and then the keywords has to be a maximum of six and the objective of the project has to be maximum 1500 has to be ent entertained or entered at the time of proposal submissions and if you have any other relevant information about the proposals, you have to upload that in a PDF format and that download template is also given over here. So if you're going to click on to this download template, then you can literally see a file like this. Uh, if you have any other extra information about your proposal has to be included, then you can include origin, research plan, bibliography, everything, maximum how much page is actually given. So you can just look into this. The next thing is, what are the documents that you need uh, when you're going to submit uh, in the portal? The first is the CV of the nominee. The second is the age proof certificate. The third is endorsement and the fourth is plagiarism undertaking. For the CV of the nominee, there's a download template which is given. You can just check here, which is the biodata which is listed over here. You have to upload this document only. And the second one is age proof certificate. You can just give any of your ID proofs like other card, your voter ID or your PAN card or your passport or whatever it is. The third is going to be the endorsement letter. The endorsement letter template is also given. So you can see this is the endorsement letter that you are actually seeing here. Undertaking certificate from the Serve Power Fellow for the award of the fellowship. This is that certificate. And the next one you can see is the plagiarism undertaking. The download template is also given. If you're going to check that, you are literally going to see a plagiarism undertaking by the principal investigator. This also you're going to include while you're going to submit it in the portal. After doing that, you just have to click on to I've read and then you can go in for the portal uploading and all the procedures in detail. Okay, so today I've been talking about the Serb Power Fellowship or we can say, which is a very prestigious fellowship for women who were uh, literally doing marvelous things in the field of science and technology and engineering. So I believe that this video is really helpful for you. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And I'm going to meet you back again in the next video. Thank you so much for joining.